Hey, everybody. I got a weird fucking thing to explore today. This isn't a treasure hunt. It's not metal detecting, it's not arrowheads, it's not bottles, it's not even meteorites. I'm looking for a bell. That's right. So, it actually snowed here yesterday. Fucking bizarre snow in Arizona. Anyways, while this is going on, we started hearing this sound of a bell. Ting, ting. We're in the National Forest. As you can hear, not that far off the highway, which is a good thing because when it snows, the roads turn to shit. So we're good. However, somewhere between the highway and my camp, which is that way, there's a bell. There's nothing out there. There's no other campsites, right? There's no buildings, there's no private property, but there's a bell. So we're going to look for the bell. Can't make this shit up. Well, that's another disappointing find. From the road, these rock piles look like they had the potential to either be foundations or have been moved around. I have seen some old fire rings, but... No other cool stuff yet. I'm still a little too close to the highway to hear the bell. And I'm coming in this direction because I was out exploring, looking for another spot. And I decided to come in, check this out, and then keep continue on to see if I can find whatever the hell this noise is in the, in the forest. Okay, stay tuned. Well, I haven't gone very far. I didn't intend I would. Right behind that brush pile is where the RV's parked. And I'm not hearing the bell. So we heard it last night. Heard it all this morning. Every time the breeze would blow. It sounds like metal on metal. You know, like that, like a flagpole. No flag. How the end clangs on the pole itself. Of course, she's running the generator. Making it that much more difficult. I'm going to stop and listen. Well, I've seen a few of these. <clears throat> Just like these weird piles of rock. As you can see, it's mostly grassy. The theory is, this is left from campers. I'm still listening for the bell. I haven't heard shit. I have a theory. It might be coming from over there and just bouncing around the trucks when it's really quiet at night and in the morning. So yeah, the uh, campers come out here, set up tents, so they collect up the rocks so they don't have to sleep on them. This place has been a campsite for a very long time. It is nasty out here, but don't worry, I have a I have a backup plan for today's hunts. Again, kind of a really rocky area. It may be, there's another road right here. It may be that one of the RVs parked up there had a wind chime. So hopefully I can get closer. And let's see. Right now, I'm about ready to give up hope. All right, I know it may not look like much. Right here, it's another old fire ring. I believe there's another one over here. We checked some of this. Things didn't go well. That's not one of them. I did find some older stuff in here. No coins. I saw an older fire ring back this way. Probably older than the one we're just sitting at right now. <sighs> Alright. So I'm going to head back. Grab the detector. Because I cannot. Uh, I haven't heard the bell the entire time I've been out here. Very fucking weird. I circled the entire campsite. Waited. I mean, you'd think... If it was still going on, you'd be able to hear something. 
Nope, too much heavy metal music, I guess. Now I've got wind. And no bell. Alright. This, on the map, is called Stump Tank. I don't know if you saw my old, other video. Tanks out west, out of natural springs, man made ponds with actual fucking tanks that are used for cattle. Isn't that a lovely piece of shit? Sludgy motherfucker. Yeah. They would also have been used for steam locomotives, that kind of shit. There's a bunch of them along the railroad tracks. Oh, what in the hell? This is one of the reasons I wanted to come to Stump Tank. It's very near the campsite. But look at that. Something like this. A chain hanging off a piece of metal. This looks like a logging crew to me. Yeah, so if there was some kind of post here and a little chain hanging off it, that could be my my uh, metal on metal bell. <sighs> this looks like logging to me. Perhaps a little bit of an access over here. <laughs> Yay. I have seen a few steel cans here and there. People have been in here for a lot of years. What do you say we head back to the ambulance? Grab the detector. Still no fucking bell. I'm absolutely losing my mind. Obviously. Hearing shit and hallucinating and whatever my old age. Alright. What the hell is this? Circle of grass. Circle of grass. Big circle of grass. Circle of grass. What the fuck is going on here? It's like everywhere. Ooh. What are you? Big, thick fucking glass. Huh. Don't know. Well, maybe I should come up here and detect. I think I might. Don't know. All right, let's go find the ambulance. And like I said, I saw some older, some very old campsites coming in. My hunt for the bell. Let's go dig those. Okay, so right there, that's the interstate. Uh, I looked it up. That was built in 1984. Well, so let's call it uh, mid 80s. Uh, you don't build an interstate in a day. However, it's built on top of good old Route 66, which, again, looked it up, built in 1926, finished in 1926. So, this is a terrible area to go camping, right next to the fucking interstate. When you say we take the detector out there, see if we can find any treasures. I bet you, 20s and 30s, 40s, I saw a number of fire rings out there, old ones. You can't, you're not even allowed to camp here anymore. Are there any coins out there? In my last 10 or 15 hunts have completely fucking sucked. I'm a coin guy, right? Relics aren't, you know, that big of a deal to me. So, just grab, just grab the detector and go hunt for some coins on Route 66. Fucking outstanding. My first target here in the wilderness. Yeah, copper pipe. What are you doing out here? That's a weird question. You know, this is the kind of shit you find around houses. Mmm. Oh, gotta be something good out there for me today. Well, there's a pretty discouraging find. It's probably from the 60s, 70s. I'm trying to get a little older than that. Beautiful place to work, except for, you know, these sounds of the fucking interstate. Gotta be something good out there today. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, fuck me. Old crown tops. No way to tell what that was, how old it is. 
It does have foil lining. Interesting. So it's older than average. But yeah, huge amounts of iron out there. Absolutely huge. No doubt there's a lot of activity in here. So far, very few targets above iron and no fucking coins. Thanks for that, guys. Yay. Old Rem UMC 30 odd 6. I know Rem UMC went out of business, or not went out of business. They got bought up, changed the name. This is 1920s, 1930s, I think. Somebody want to look that up for me, leave me a comment. I just don't feel like doing it right now. But yeah, Rem UMC is older. So, good sign, perhaps? Not really. At least it's not iron. The place is kicking my ass. There we go. That is a very old fire ring. Um, just found a little brass doodad. I don't know what the hell it is. On a piece of a tin can. Not aluminum, not steel. Actual tin. Ambulance is just right over there. So now what I'll do is I'll start spiraling out around this. There were probably tents back in through here. Uh, automobiles on this side. Let's see if there's anything here. Probably not. Alright, that is something I definitely do not want to find out here. Not a matter of whether or not it's old or not. I mean, this could be a 1950s site and it should be perfectly fine. However, there's no electricity out here. Which means somebody's out here dumping trash. Fuck. Okay, I'm still doing my uh, spiral. I mean, the old fire pits right there. So, hopefully something will turn up. I definitely want to hit the area on the other side of it where we hopefully were tent camping. <sighs> Back at it. All right, um, yeah. Anybody want to tell me what I'm looking at here? The fuck? I mean, it kind of looks like a car park, but it's been cut. It's definitely been cut into this shape. Maybe it was, uh, you know, a multi-part thing. Don't fucking know. That's very weird. And that can stay here for future treasure hunters. Wow. I mean, that's definitely 30s and 40s. Uh, okay, made by PNS, part 8237, 71, 77, I don't fucking know. <sighs> Interestingly, though, this kind of stuff does tend to go with buildings. Did they have some kind of temporary structure and power run out here? Maybe a logging camp? Don't fucking know. <sighs> Gonna just. Keeps carefully sweeping it. There's got to be something else out here. I'll leave that one for uh, future generations of archaeologists. This has got to be logging camp. Big old fucking worm gear. But there's power out here. There's campfires, bottle caps. Got to be tents somewhere. Still looking. Oh is about time what are you going to be okay it is a lincoln you expected that are you going to be a weedy not even fucking memorial are you shitting me the first coin i have found in like my last 10 hunts and it's a fucking memorial Fuck. all right I'm getting ready to get out of here because this whole area here is bits and pieces of big equipment. That area over there has got a little bit of like bottle caps and stuff and then beyond it, nothing. And then my one sad, sad memorial penny. Hey, I did find a coin in the wilderness though. I'm going to get out of here. It's a sad day when a 1971 memorial, memorial is a good day. That's the only coin I have found in the woods. We've been out three times in these fucking woods. There's campsites all over the place. The, the dates and when people have been in here, just all over the map. That was definitely logging camp. Lots of heavy machinery. I'm tired. Maybe I ought to quit metal detecting. Just go be a Vegas showgirl. I don't know. We're headed to Vegas tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you guys. Uh, there's probably links to shirts or some shit below. I don't fucking know. 
I'm out of here.